Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to make a zigzag card, or that's what I'm calling it, and this is how it looks like when you don't have anything else on it. I saw this once in a shop and I wanted to recreate it, so that's what I'm doing today. And as you can see, I'm using a scoring tool, my Fiskar streamer, and two new stamp sets by Simon Says Stamp. So first we are going to cut the cardstock and I don't have a cardstock that is long enough uh, for this card so we are going to have to add a little something like another rectangle at the end of it, I will show you that in a minute. But for now we are just going to cut this piece of cardstock at 5 inches and I think it's 8 inches long. Now, as I said, we will need another rectangle that we will add to this card and I am making that now and that's 5 inches by 3 and 1 quarter inches. Uh, after that, we're going to take our scoring tool and we're going to score at 3 and um, 1 qu quarter again. So we first uh, score at 1 quarter, 3 1 quarter, sorry. Uh, we fold it and we continue doing that until we don't have any more cardstock. So as you can see, the last part of the zigzag card is just a little flap. So there's where we are going to incorporate our rectangle. Now that's also going to leave us with a bit of an ugly back part of the card. It's not so horrible, but if you want to cover it, you just make another rectangle that is five by three and one quarter inches and just uh, stick it behind it. And that's it, it's going to look perfect. Okay, and now let's make a window. Now, I am going to leave out the last rectangle of the zigzag card, as you can see here. I am going to go through three layers of cardstock. It's not going to cut all three layers, but it is going to cut two of them, and then it's going to leave a mark in the third one. That way we know exactly where to cut each window and we can make sure that they are going to be exactly in the same place. This is very important because if they are not exactly in the same place, the card is going to look a little bit weird. So that's it, we have our structure and now we can start making all the elements that I want to put inside and from now on I think I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna let you enjoy the video. I think it's, it is very clear, I'm just going to be stamping, coloring, die cutting and then putting everything or arranging everything on the card.
And that's all. I hope you liked it. I also wanted to tell you this is part of a blog hop celebrating the newest Simon Stamp release. And if you want to participate in a giveaway, just go over to my blog and leave a comment. The link is below the video and also below the video you will find all the supplies. Have a great day and see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!